Hi, my name is Miserable Gamer, and welcome. Uh, we're looking at a game called Genesia Legacy. Now, this is a remake or a sequel, maybe, um, of an original game called Genesia from '92, I think, which I can read here came out on the Amiga. Um, and it's a, it's, well, it was an isometric game, uh, 3D isometric game. And, um, yeah, based on games like Populous and Settlers and all sorts of things like that. Um, yeah, so there's a bit of a story, so we're going to read through that, and then we will jump in and look and see what the game is like. So the story. Long ago, a king named Re ne Neot reigned over his prosperous land of Genesia. Undisputed and respected by his people, the king had won many battles and known happiness for a very long time. Sadly, he fell madly in love with a woman that did not want him. As a way of showing his unconditional love, he decided to give her the most precious present in the world, the seven sacred gems of Neot. The seven gems were kept under lock and key in a tower of which the king was the sole guardian. He did the unforgivable and entered the tower and stole them. Alas, the magic stones were what kept the peace in Genesa. When he took the last gem, a malediction fell upon Genesa. The land was hit by thunder, lightning, meteorites and floods. Crops were destroyed, famine and diseases spread, anarchy reigned and survivors killed each other. Decades went by. Nature slowly took back the deserted land. One beautiful spring day, King Neot's descendants sent three of his loyal lords to the land of his ancestors. In the name of the king, you shall find the seven gems which are scattered across the world and bring them back together. Whoever brings New York's seven sacred gems to the king will be declared the winner. And that's it. So that's the basis of the game. So, let's jump in. Uh, Gen Genesia Legacy operates in survival mode. Every action is final. At the beginning of every turn, your adventure is automatically saved in one of the three slots, slots below. Select a slot and choose an action. So we'll select that slot. We'll have a new game. The game is now configured to be played by human players. Here, you can rename the captains or set them to be controlled by an AI. To start the adventure, choose a difficulty level. Amber of Lori. Uh, so we'll call myself the Miserable Gamer. Okay, so we can't turn them off, so they have to stay on. So we've got John Talbot and Godfrey Blackhead. Mm. Okay, so choose a difficulty level is normal. Tortola. Uh, I understand it as well. It's um, it's randomised, so um, the lands are different every time you play, which is great. Dosola, an island with fine sand beaches and three fertile plateaus with lush vegetation and iron-rich rocks. Heavy rainfall and snow are common, but thunderstorms are rare. Light wind prevents sand dunes to grow inland. Did you know to have 18? The Pioneer is a sport unit. You can move to another housing, provided you find a vacant room. Get a Pioneer and start collecting logs early in the game. Assign women rather than men to work in the fields. Recruit units who are single to avoid splitting couples. Send the most able-bodied units to explore the island for health points. It might be advantageous to leave a unit ready near the coast to search cargo stranded on the beach. Sorry, I was just making sure I was recording. The goods collected are immediately stored in the unit's province of origin. Providing a large quantity of bags of food to the king can be very lucrative. Place a guard in every corner of your province to increase the chance of attracting peaceful animals. It can be wise to protect peaceful animals from predators. A score of 100 or more gives you a title which allows you to govern a new province. Sounds a bit like the guild. Building storage sheds or storehouses near borders helps optimise trades between provinces. Outer wood logs import some from your other provinces. Before conquering other provinces, make sure you have donkeys or wagons to carry the goods. Save energy by making citizens live together in bigger homes. Control your colony's population growth. Sometimes too many citizens can be too much trouble. In the laboratory, you can view requirements for inventions by clicking on the arrows between inventions on the parchments. And are you out of luck? Did your invention undergo as expected? Start a new game and try again. 
The quest for the seven gems of Neort. After a long journey, you have disembarked on the island of Tortola. In order to survive your new colony, in order to survive, your new colony will need to accumulate resources and protect your provinces. Your rival governors are working the same way in other territories, also in search of the gems of Neort. And right now, you have no idea e to even start where to even start looking. Is that I'm so happy. I am so happy. Right. So. A banner on foreign lands. You will soon be able to conquer this province by sending your troops to attack this emblem. But for now, your current rank does not allow you to govern more than one province. Okay. So this is... So this area here is our province. Okay. Ground will supply your worlds with drinking water. The environment represents all natural events in this province. Defense. This represents a level of protection of your citizens when they fight in this province. Citizens. Number of citizens and current accommodation capacity in this province. So we can only have three citizens in the land. Units. The number of units among citizens of this province. Only units can move freely on the land. Morale. Morale of the citizens that live in this province. Storage. Storage capacity of the province. Quantity of food available in the province. Quantity of barrels full of drinking water stored in the province. Number of logs available for your citizens during winter. Number of planks stored in this province. Number of stones stored in the province. And quantity of metal stored in the province. Right, okay. So, what do we have? We have a one-room hut. This lodging offers food and shelter to one citizen. The presence of this construction has a negative impact of five points on the natural environment. We have a well. At the end of each season, this is this well extracts 10% of the groundwater to produce 15 barrels of drinking water. It has a negative impact of eight points on the natural environment. Because my understanding is we also it's got a bit like e the game Eco that's being developed at the moment. Um, you, your, what you do affects the um, <coughs> affects the environment. Your banner in the province of Kot. This banner presents your, represents your authority over this land. The province of Kot is currently under your prevention, protection. It, it develops independently of other provinces and possesses its own natural resource. However, any gold here, any gold earned here is deposited into your personal coffers to use as you see fit, Governor. Governor, your current rank allows you to govern up to one province. A barrack, which is a unique building. This barrack barracks reinforces the defence of this province by 25 points. This building has a negative impact of 15 points on the natural environment. The tax rate is set to three gold coins in cot. Currently, three settlers are ready to receive military training. A storage shed. This small shed offers storage and protection of goods in cot. It has a negative impact of 10 points on the natural environment. It can contain a maximum of 150 units. And we have a two-room shack. This lodging offers food and shelter to two citizens. The presence of destruction has a negative impact of eight points on the natural environment. Logs. Carpenters can easily saw these dry logs into planks. Summer is the ideal season for sawing as the wood is dry and easy to work with. Plank production will be increased during this time. If planks production is not a priority, you can send your units to recover logs and store them in Cot's storage sheds. Don't forget that logs that are not used or stored will decay over time. Piles of logs on the ground have a negative impact at one point on the natural environment. So that's logs. What's this? Rocks. Miners can break these boulders into rocks. Many insects make their homes amongst the rocks, providing a positive impact of two points on the natural environment. Okay. So... So this is the island. What's that? An abandoned shipment. Debris and cargo from a shipwreck is washed up on the beach. Military units can be sent out to look for salvage. Keep in mind that goods are not stored. It will deteriorate over time. The presence of debris has a negative impact of two points on the environment. Wow, it's quite big. So we've got a number of islands. So this is... We're on a... Uh, we do have a uh, land bridge across there. So it's making me feel a bit sick actually running around like that. <clears throat> so there is our natural defense point. But it covers two, so we need to capture those two provinces to protect 
our land. Right, so I think the first thing we need to do is build some more homes. Is that a field there? An arable field. This arable field can allow farmers to produce food. We're having a very generous harvest this summer. The amount of food produced will be increased. The presence of this field has a negative impact at one point on the natural environment. Um, so, we have food. We have 12, 24 water. Drill. Smash to the ground to extract big rocks. More efficient in the mountains, but destroys the environment. We've got a small farm. This lodging can offer food and shelter to... So we need more citizens. So we can build a new shack. How do we... I'm assuming we can only build on these... Yeah, we can only build on those green squares. And I think we should build another field as well. Right, end my turn there. Time flies and life goes on. Governor, season two. Governor, here is the report about your influence in the world. You will... Your will to protect the environment on the island of Tortola is currently neutral. Overall, your relationship with your people is reasonable. Your protection with the king is encouraging. Beyond the seas, they call you miserable game of the yokel. Your current rank allows you to govern one province. So what... Was that a... Was that a whole season? Oh, wow. Okay. Ah, we gotta we gotta sign uh they yeah, the thing said to assign women to the fields. And she'll sign Ah, Captain William Tell at your command. Recruit. What kind of troops do you want to enlist? Militia. Choose a recruit governor for a fee of five gold coins. John Gaultier would make an excellent soldier. Well, that's all we've got. The recruit will wait outside. Militia from Cot Infantry. Jean Gaultier is a militia man. This athletic man is 20 years old with a morale of 100%. Jean is in seventh heaven. He lives in a shack in Cot. To sustain his needs each season, he eats one bag of food and drinks two barrels of potable water. In order to stay at his post, he demands a pay of five gold coins every season. At the end of each autumn, he will pay a tax of three gold coins. Currently, this unit has an action capacity of six points. So we give him five, and he gives us three back. Yeah, that's a high tax rate. Logging may begin. Allow me to remark, Governor, autumn is an ideal season to start chopping trees because the sap of the tree trunks flows downwards. What difference does that make? It is raining. Good news, it is raining. The end of the fall, the rain will pass through the soil and fill the groundwater. Plentiful groundwater is essential, as it allows vegetation to flourish. It also ensures that the world will be able to produce enough drinking water for our citizens. Don't forget the trees and plants play an important role in this ecosystem. Without water, nothing grows. Right. Hmm. Right. So, how do I... You don't... Oh, no, that's not what I was... A tree! Lumberjacks can cut, the down, cut this tree down to reduce logs. The tree's roots stabilize the soil and give a 0.2% bonus groundwater. Our most experienced lumberjacks claim that autumn is the ideal season for logging. They say it's because the sap in the trees is flowing downward. This tree has a positive impact of 8 points on the natural environment. This tree has a 57% chance of producing a sapling in the spring season. When moving in forest, ground units use 3 action points. They can hide and protect themselves from ranged attacks. 
Okay, so they're working the fields. How do we get more citizens? Right, this construction yard is at a one, one fourth stage of a completion, but its presence has a negative impact to two points in the natural environment. An architect is required to finish this construction and prevent it from falling with ruins in the winter. Oh, well, shit, we need bloody architect. You do not have the requirements for this. What's the requirements? Settler, we need another settler. I'm going to release you from that job. Architect. Right, so she's dealing with that. So perhaps we shouldn't have built a field. I think I think one field was probably enough. I'm going to release him from service as well. And I'm going to sign him as a lumberjack. No, not a lumberjack. As a carp carpenter. Right. End turn. Time flies and life goes on. Season 3. Govern. Governor, here is the report of about your influence in the world. Your will to protect the environment of the island Tor Tortola is currently neutral. Overall, your relationship with your people is reasonable. Your reputation of the king is encouraging. Beyond the seas, they call you miserable game of the year. Cool. Your current rank allows you to govern one province. It's not me. <laughs> So at this point, the fields are useless. So we have to assign the work each season. They don't retain the job. Hmm. I'm not sure if I'm playing this right. Time flies and life goes on. Season four. Here's a report about your influence in the world. Your blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's not really changed at all. Oh, they've held, they've held the jobs. This, I got a piss. It's good to live here. Of course it is. I'm a fair and just governor. I'm not really getting much feedback about what I'm meant to be doing. I mean, we're running out of goddamn food. Um. So. Release you from being a miner. Go and work in those fields. The King's Wards. The child was born in the province of Cot. The parents are worried because the island of Tortola is not a good place to raise a child. The king cares about the well-being of his children. His royal highness welcomed children and keeps them under his protection. They will be taken care of when the next boat comes. The king knows it's important that the population cot keeps growing, so we'll send a settler for every newborn. All oh, right, it's okay. So they replace children with with new settlers. But it's taking like a year to build this bloody hut. Why is this hut not being built? Ah, oh, the hut's been built. There we go. So we've now got five. What's that noise? So 
So Jean Gaultier and Louise Foulon, Foulon are getting it on. Let's get it on. Yeah, so I'm not getting much feedback about what is actually happening, you know. Uh, we've got eight logs. Right, Jean Gaultier needs to go and chop down that tree. And Louise Fulon can go and manage that field. Ooh, the bear. Hi, bear. This bear is a dangerous animal. Its sharp claws and powerful jaw can tear prey to pieces. The bear hibernates during winter and its presence has a positive impact of 20 points on the environment. I mean, is that all I'm meant to be doing? Is just f flying through the seasons this quickly? I, I really don't know. Time flies and life goes on. Hello, Sir Nicholas, at your service. Ah, so we've got another... We've got another man. So, let's... Nic Nicholas Yuse. Go and do some of that. Why is... Why has that suddenly gone small? Why is... The barracks was much bigger than that. Strong gusts of winds have swept the island Tortula. Carried by the wind, sand is slowly gaining ground. It seems that ten new tiles are now covered in sand. Scholars agree that the provinces and their activities on the island of Tortola are hurting the natural environment. The global degradation of the environment is not the work of one single man. All the governors have to protect the ecosystem in order to slow this phenomenon. So where has this happened? I think it was there. I think that's... Can we move her? I'd like her to move to there. Hmm. Allow me to remark, Governor. Autumn is the ideal season to start chopping trees because the sap of trees slows downwards. Why? The king has disembarked on the island of Tortola. I have the pleasure to inform you that our vulnerable sovereign has just disembarked on the island of Tortola. His Majesty requests that you be at his disposal for the duration of his visit. The royal ship will leave the island of Tortola in four seasons. Oh, that bear's getting close. So food is up, drinking water up, there's planks. Excuse me. How can I relocate? Pack. These walls are true predators, not afraid to attack larger animals. The pack usually hunts near forests and rarely attacks humans on human territory. Rarely attacks on human territory. The presence of this wolf, wolf pack contributes to animal diversity and has a positive impact of 20 points on the environment. Mm. Anyway, right, that's that's a quick first look at that. Um, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you're liking that. Um, it's a little bit of a weird game. It's it's not really giving you much feedback on what 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 you're doing and the impacts of what the impact of what you're doing. You know, I, I mean, I can see morale is going down. I can see that my food is going up and drink water is going up and the planks are going up because I cut those trees down. Um, but what you could do with it is like a an end of season report. This happened, you know. 
um because i didn't i had no idea that the uh, the hut was being built um it really wasn't very clear um you know can i deconstruct that hut Uh, yes, I can. I can destroy. You do not have the requirements for this. What's the oh, explosives? What? You gotta be shitting me. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So, um, if you are if you if you are enjoying that, please let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more of this. Um, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.